Alrighty, welcome back to some more. Right, Flood, and this probably won't be the last episode because we're also going to be dealing with Republicans, or specifically the Soviets. We're also going to be dealing with Germany. So we're probably going to have a big old war with Germany. So we're going to deal with Siberia. Anyway. I'll read that reason. So I'm going to read this until I'm. I'm going to say something else, but it's not going to really matter. I'm going to read this anyway. I'm also uh, doing this. Our dream has been realized. At the top, the gracious and beloved Tsaritsa Anastasia, with generosity unending and her will ferocious. Below that, the D Bolshevik Soviets allow small communities to exercise self government and manage local issues. These two areas, Tsaritsa and the Soviet, now work hand in hand in the will dance to bring our nation to soaring new heights. Indeed. A new kind of height. Exactly. Well, let's see just a bit. And a similar. Let's get you up here. God damn, man, what the fuck? I don't know, man, this, this is weird. This is weird, Miguel. Yeah, you want sorry, you? Man, man. Yeah. We'll also have a last time. Is that uh, Yakutia decided to submit to us, which I find fascinating because Yakutia. Hold on. That's what I'm about to have a double test on the Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yakutia decided to Check submit to us. Here, which is fascinating because I didn't think that they would submit over there. It was just. It was really, this is really fucking weird. So we're about to be coming in many, many gaming moments. The gamer has arrived. Now we're gonna get ourselves to the Ekaterinburg. Get the scissors and move on, amigo. I'll get some of them over here. Some of them, some of there, some everywhere. Soon. We're golden over here, and I'm gonna speed this thing over here. Hmm. I'm gonna make a seal over here just in case. I mean, I like this little. Backup save for prior to whatever. The prior. The town crier, as they say. See you making a 
organization. It's um uh, Amalkaz. It's a bit Amalkaz. in Soviet. With that done, uh, let's do some transport of flights before we do some of the other stuff here. Famed ex Russian explorer Edward Edward Toll. This appeared in 1902, so it's a famed Simsimikov land. This day, we still do not know if this land exists, or which is in my hope. Nowadays, we have the luxury of sending a brave pilot for a day's jaunt and the expensive risky expedition. So let's send that forth. Indeed. Send them all forth. They the ten over here. Last of I ain't doing too good. All of that. Capitulation, amigo. This whole little way over here, look at that. Building up the nation over here, look at this. Man, this is ability still very eh. That's fine, that was fine. Yeah, I got off. We got plenty of manpower for the upcoming endeavor. Plenty of power. Gato. Yeah, Gato. The power. Slow Power within people. Power within. Yeah, got off. Yeah, they're gonna be dead here soon. I also expect the Federal Red Navy. With the losses in the Russo Japanese War and the Great War, as well as many desertion immunities we have suffered due to chaos the last two decades, our Navy is dangerously weak. On staff, I will now have the case at the Steve and they can live near my cabin. We should fill in the ranks with flash blood. I find it interesting how even with cold chain power, the still, Navy still got. It still was my thing. Yeah, you know, cold chain was an admiral. I find it highly interesting. That's the army over there. I'll set up. Should be completely in this unit. The cap is about to be capped. Yeah, because okay, because okay, because it's last was a cap. Anyway, 
and I'm gonna cut the other rules here, rather short, quickly. Then I'm probably gonna get Dinkin to deal with those rules here. I'm gonna get everybody else over here to so have a big ass fucking front line. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna probably pull in more smash. We're gonna have Dinkin over here. I feel like he'd be best at the job. I'm just like have a fangle to do it because it's like the top dog and all this. Look at that, right? We got Portuguese generals here. And then they just fuck. What the fuck? Damn, what are you just fucking kicked them out of there? That's a win right there, god damn. Slowshare! Then I expect that a lot. The other side, period peoples do vector it. I'm gonna send Dinkin over here from the big ass line here. Gonna send uh, Wrangle out in Yugoslav Yugos Commonwealth. Yeah. You can take care of Hungary. You can back up these the new guys over here. What a big old big old infrastructure project, look at this. Some more supply over here. You never hurt to be prepared. Got a new empire over here. Look at that. Look at this. Now the rules here be unified in Russia. I'm gonna save over here for the whole unified thing over here. If I watch that, yeah, it usually ends with a creature. You can leave this out to us if you want, but since we got into we're going to go to a little walk form basically, I want to be as prepped as we can. That's what I'm saying, my thought. Anyway, not the Russian fight, Russia. After a brutal campaign across the entirety of the nominally Russian realm, who holds Empress of Russia, Anastasia, can confidently say she holds her land with an iron fist. People don't print Nina. The intelligent agency of the Russian Empire has become one of the most effective and powerful intelligent agencies on Earth. The new Russian model government has used some former adversaries in Zelotorosa. You know, we haven't taken over Zelotorosa yet. But there's only even more adversaries. Done. As a newly rejuvenated power, Russia now seeks to reclaim her own territory and will do anything in the power to trade the money that's fully united in the new vigorous system. Tsar and Soviet, or in this case, Tsarita and Soviet. Very nice. I think, I think the super event was a lot different for it. If I remember correctly, I don't know. It's been a long while since I've played with it. First time I remember anything about like pre-2 steps forward. 
Anyway. Neither a person nor a nation can exist without some higher idea. There is only one higher idea on earth, and it is the idea of the immortality of the human soul. For all the higher ideas of life, I would choose my life derived from that idea alone. Peter Olofsky. Interesting. There's some joint Arctic explorations. There's much that we do not know about the crew Arctic, Fever Mind, Snow Ice, and how the winds collaborate with their expedition between the air and forest and the navy. We'll do much to map this area and treat two branches to work alongside one another. Indeed, as we prepared the great Eugene to further be over the rock front. Okay, so I guess we could do like a little Cold War scenario. That might be give me an idea for the thing I was going to be doing at the end of this. Get some Central Asian oil. Get some of the as well. And we need all that oil going up here. Okay, so we need to get this thing going. This whole thing going. Now that we are, uh, you know. Becoming a de facto superpower. And we're about to, you know, go to war with uh, Tarosia. The boy Trotsky. Supply stuff over here as well, but it. we're gonna supply over here, but I'm gonna play it safe. Uh, we don't need to hold up up there. Well, I might have to be under some senses. Might as well at least get that way away prepared. Prepared. Pre aired. Pre eminent power, anyway. The observations. Predicting the weather at sea that was hard enough, predicting at thousands of feet above energy altitude is a whole nother kettle of fish. I don't understand the way the atmosphere works, but I'll also better train our pilots about flying in dangerous conditions, indeed. I'm gonna get even more stip. Even more of the stick. So we should have more than enough to uh, build a massive infrastructure project. Yep. Exactly what we shall do. Using a vast industry, we are going to build a power. We are quite powerful, but we're gonna build. We're gonna be like exuder power. I think this is why I did that over there. Because we gotta make sure the capital is at least marginally secure. Uh, 
I thought I'd be clicking about that. It's a very tedious process, but it's in this uh, one. Because we shoot like that, and guess we know we're gonna. Then one of us is gonna be at war with them. Yep. Let's see, something over there you can help. Can you get? Extreme weather adaptation. Even simply staying alive in the Arctic Ocean of towns, let alone executing the complex naval operations. Changes to training doctrine and design the ship, we can secure total superiority as ice ridden seas. Indeed. And soon enough, we just secure the completeness. Keep forgetting about you, too, because you got two sons of a lot of fuck. Like, seriously, might you? Like, they. Like, those two songs, like, they're rather good, but they're blaring in my ears and it actually kind of hurts. So, yeah, we're keeping that kind of idea. I like how we haven't even touched, uh, fucking. I haven't even touched um, Central Asia. I find that interesting. At least we do it at a later date. There's bigger threats over here. Look at all these generals that we got over here. Uh, we need that dude over here. You know, that's a generic portrait. That document is going to be rather nice. Right. Yeah, we got plenty of trucks for this. We got plenty of that good shit, don't you worry, people. So like we ain't close to that one hundred. Just let's send yeah. Let's say we can't get a hundred, but it's fine. Don't And I'm worry, Jim, that we'll deal with you all in due time. All in very due time. In very due time. Doing a bunch of things like that. Should you both popping out? Just so you guys can come out at the same time. A surplus. Some naval uh, national aviation committee. At the moment, the fact we the air force and the chief style are disconnected from one another. Only by the communication between them grease the wheels all the way from manufacturing to deployment. I knew it meant to be done up the trial. He evaluated far faster than the old methods ever could. Yeah, remember they touched the naval stuff. Did you put that shit to last? I was on the air force. That's what we're gonna do. I guess what I'm gonna be doing with this one. Yeah. Care about each generation tents. I'm going to do this. Yeah, that's 20% of the air superiority on that. Yeah, let's get some weed off at once. I 
let's see. I gotta say, we're doing quite well for ourselves, I think, considering. I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know when I'm gonna be starting this war exactly. All I know is I'm gonna be really prepared for it. I'm gonna be hugely prepared for this war. I should probably get a with a division that I'm gonna be using. Yeah, I can build a tank core. Let's get Asia, you fuckers, in here. Yeah, I'm gonna be in Moscow. I'm gonna get this, 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 and we'll put you with new, actually. Okay, are we good? We're good. There goes the Vox Republic. Public things. Ah oh, man, this war is gonna be hell. This war is going to be hell. Okay, look, if we can quickly lap up what's going on in the east and hold off on the, in the western front, then we're golden. We're good. We're grand. The problem is exactly how we're going to do it. Let's get the IVFF. But our commander, our commander was totally messed with gaps left by users of civil war and antiquated bureaucratic chain command. The old imperial commanders are essentially virtually given how long they've been in the force. This entire apparatus needs to be rebuilt from ground up to give new generation of guy pilots the opportunity to leave. Indeed. I need to completely fucking replace this system. In the meantime, completely build up infrastructure projects. So we can have a. So we can be a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. D we could probably win this two prong or We could probably blitz through them. Slow but as for here, we are going to hold on as long as we can. I'm just going to pull you right that here. Good. Just so we can get a tank, dude. Yeah, you're going to make a great tank, dude, because you got increased boost there. Not a great idea, but we need to. You see, yeah, since uh, I already got the, yeah, we already got that thing coming. I'm gonna go the advanced tank. I'm gonna make a basic bitch tank. That would be anything special, but yeah. We're gonna get you for speed. So let's put this fucking put this fucking thing in here. It's gonna be on Mark One, the advanced tech. At the Mark Two, once we get better videos. Also, once uh. Bunch of you guys, look at that. Yeah, we're creating one hell of a force over here. We got the manpower to do it. We got more than enough manpower to do this. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ. I uh, know, I'm sorry. Give me 
Sentry Expert. I need the Defender. I need a defense item just in case. Get that entrenchment going because we're probably going to get blasted. Get them back. I didn't realize you guys get operational observe. Core. I like my engineers. Then uh, I do some adventure leadership. Probably, most likely, theoretically. Passerine. Yeah, we're gonna go for a balance approach and we're gonna read that next time because we are uh, above time. So, yeah, uh, next time we'll be dealing with Zelta Russia, the right front. If we're gonna see how well that goes, I'm probably gonna still be building up this reveal. I'm probably gonna have that war probably in the middle or towards the end of that next episode. Probably, I don't know. But yeah, until then, I'll see you guys next time with the war for the right front. I guess the right front, not for the right front. Yeah. Still would like to do the Germany playthrough one day. Probably I will do the Volk Republic. Probably. Either that I'll do uh, Niti. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.